The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. Today, this scripture passage continues to be fulfilled in your hearing. The Spirit of the Lord is upon the whole church, and the Spirit of the Lord is also upon us priests, as stewards of the mysteries of God for the special work conferred upon us of the sanctification of God's people. It is most appropriate that the renewal of our priestly promises take place during the celebration of Mass, since as priests, the Eucharist is our life. In fact, in these priestly promises at this Mass, the Eucharist is singled out for special mention in our ministry, while the other sacraments and liturgies, important as they are, are grouped together as the other liturgical rites. As you will soon hear, are you resolved to be faithful stewards of the mysteries of God in the Holy Eucharist and the other liturgical rites? The Eucharist is our life because Jesus is our life. The Eucharist defines our life. In this country, we're celebrating the National Eucharistic Revival to encourage ourselves and our parishioners to deepen our personal relationship with Jesus in the Holy Eucharist, to go deeper in our relationship with Him. We spend time with the one we love. It's true of all relationships and so also of us with the Lord in the Eucharist. One of the patron saints of the National Eucharistic Revival is Saint Manuel Gonzalez. Because of his efforts to revive the Eucharistic faith and the Eucharistic love of his parishioners through a personal relationship with Jesus in the Eucharist, he saw this personal relationship as necessary for the renewal of parish life. When he was sent to his first parish as a new priest in the early 1900s in Spain, he saw that the tabernacle of the church was abandoned. The Blessed Sacrament was there, Jesus was there, but no one else was. The tabernacle was covered with cobwebs and durst, dirt and dust. The altar cloth was torn and had burn holes in it. Oil was dripping onto the floor from the sanctuary lamp. The church was dirty and had the look and feel of being abandoned. Because the people had not encountered Jesus as a living person in the tabernacle and had not encountered Jesus as a living person in Holy Communion, the parish was, practically speaking, abandoned. Saint, Man Saint Manuel said about teaching the people that Jesus is not a static presence, but a living personal presence in the Eucharist. And this became St. Manuel's lifelong passion as priest and later as a bishop, to animate parish life around the Eucharist, Jesus. He is known as the Bishop of the Abandoned Tabernacle because of his work. And I highly recommend the short book about him by that title. The Eucharist is our life. Jesus, who is personally present in the Eucharist, is our life. May we share with our people the love we have found for the Lord and inspire our people likewise to come to that 
deeper personal relationship with Jesus in the Eucharist. It is very appropriate that during the celebration of the Eucharist, which is our very life as priests, that we recognize brother priests who are celebrating special jubilee anniversaries of their priesthood ordinations this year. Monsignor John McSweeney for 50 years, and for 25 years, Father Jose Cardenas Bonilla, Father Ricardo Sanchez, Father Timothy Stevens, and Monsignor Patrick Winslow. We offer you our congratulations and best wishes, and I hope that each of them, if you can find them in this crowd of priests, receives many personal, face-to-face, -face congratulatory greetings from brother priests today as they celebrate jubilees of ordination. Of course, the renewal of our priestly promises is something each of us does every day in practice. We are renewing those promises every day as we faithfully carry out our ministry and remain close to the Lord, the High Priest. This time together at the Chrism Mass is a blessing from the Lord to celebrate with our brothers in the priesthood and to render thanks to our Lord for the sacred gift of the priesthood that he has conferred upon us.